Hey guys, it's Miss Tom. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be expanding on top of one of the paint techniques that I taught you guys last week. So if you remember, the type of paint that I taught you to make was a little tool like this. It involved food coloring and freezing it with an object. So today I'm going to be using those and I'm going to teach you three different techniques to use with this paint tool. So if I show you down here on my sheet of paper, what I'm going to teach you how to do is three types of techniques. One involves crayon, one involves salt, and one involves aluminum foil. So the first one is called watercolor resist. So I'm going to call this watercolor because it's the most familiar or similar to the type of paint that we have in my classroom back at school. So we're going to call this watercolor resist. Now what you want to do is with your crayon you want to draw or write pressing really hard and then you take the paint on top and you'll see that when you paint over it the crayon resists and you can see both very clearly. So this is what the resist looks like. The second one, you want to make sure that you have these really liquidy. So this has been melting for a few minutes already. The second one for the salt technique, you want to get a lot of liquid on the paper. You want it to be nice and juicy. And then to create this sort of impression or texture technique, you're going to take salt, just loose salt, take a pinch, and you're going to sprinkle it on top. And it creates sort of this nice like crackle effect. So that's the second one. The third one, once again, you want to make sure that for this aluminum foil technique, you have a lot of paint on your paper, make it nice and wet. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take aluminum foil. I've crinkled this a little bit for extra texture, but I'm basically just going to take it, press it down on top of my paint, and when I lift it, it creates different textures. And you can move it around your paper like that too, but it also creates sort of like a different type of crackle effect. So those are three techniques that you can use with this type of paint that I taught you how to make last week. Look forward to new texture techniques and printmaking impressions in the next video that you're about to see. Bye guys.